welcome to Shiny Adventures. Uh, Fisher Market today down in West Cork, uh, hunting for a few fish. Um, the main species in this beach are going to be flounder, mullet, and possibly bass, uh, with the off chance of maybe a place or gilthead, but I'm um, not too confident on them. The, I'm using currently three rods, uh, two rods are in kind of close within 50 yards. I have one rod at distance looking for uh, something slightly bigger, hopefully a ray knocking about or maybe a big bass or something. Um, so I'm just on second cast now at the moment, the tide's turned about an hour, so I'm expecting fishing to be picking up soon. But um, we're going to fish it all the way up to high and uh, hopefully I can show you a few fish along the way. So currently what I'm using spin for mullet is uh, I'm using just a, it's a nine foot spinning rod, an actual two and a half thousand size, size reel. There's what, 20 pound braid on it with a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. That leader then goes to this, it's a medium egg float. Um, so same, same, it's the same as a bubble float, uh, it's just egg shaped so it's slightly easier for spinning. Then I have about five feet of seven pound fluorocarbon about five feet of seven pound fluorocarbon and then that ends up with size 10 uh, canvas and short shank so what I'm using then is so a lot of people use spinner blades and stuff uh, for the mullet but I don't find it helps or makes it worse so all I use is maddies so all I have here is I have two maddies I find two is enough just one doesn't seem to get the same reaction but two I don't know, just my personal preference it seems to. So here I have Maddie's. So all I'm gonna do is take one first, and my hook. And then I'm just gonna, if you can see, so just go through the head. You don't have to tread them all the way up the hook, but just through the head and just bring it out. So it's one on, and just slide him up just a small bit, so I'm past the eye of the hook. There, I get my second one. Same again, just in the top of the head. So that's them both hooked on. So the hook is just here. You can see they're still moving around. Um, so when you're spinning that in the the water, what they tend to do is they tend to clump up. And as soon as you stop spinning or stop moving the the bait, it they fan out and they start moving then. And that's generally when you get the takes. So uh, let's give this a go and see if we can get some fish. Certainly not my biggest catch, but that is definitely one of the smallest turbot I've ever caught. That is the definition of a teabag turbot. He took a, a bait that was nearly the same size as him, which typical turbot really, but uh, yeah, try to get this guy back and see if there's a few bigger ones floating around, because they can't really get much smaller. So after that last turbot that I couldn't get over the size of, I managed to get this little guy. Even smaller again, it's almost translucent on the bottom, you can see everything. But uh, geez, we really need to start getting some bigger fish hopefully. Uh, okay, the tide's just coming up here now, still about another 
two hours off a high, so just it starts to get deep. I'd like to think some bigger fish are going to come in, but uh, let's get this guy back and hopefully we can get a bigger one. So fishing has gone really slack there now, the last hour. Uh, tide is nearly in, it's a half an hour off high and there hasn't been a fish in ages. Uh, all the mullet that I was kind of stalking and spinning for have all disappeared but um, even the the small turbot and flounder coming in on the other rods have completely stopped. So currently weighing up my options on what to do. Do I stay here and fish into darkness or do I move to another location and fish into darkness there? It's a tough call. Um, one thing I do know is I was told this mark fishes better on the incoming tide. So I'd imagine if I don't get anything in an hour, I'm going to uh, pack up my rods and head to a different spot and finish the night there because I have plenty of bait still left over. So let's hope for my sake that I get a fish in the next while and I don't have to pack. So I just got this guy in the maddie on the pop-up bee, just in close. Um, biggest fish of the day, or biggest bladdy of the day. So I'm happy enough, but I'm going to take it as a sign that the fish might pick up. So uh, we'll get this guy back and hopefully this means that there's a few bigger ones on the way. So making the decision to actually stay is paid off, so I have this lovely size found there. He's probably just hitting 30s, maybe 35. And then this, again, tiny little teabag turbo. So uh, yeah, got him on crab and him on a maddie on the front bee. So get these back now, but uh, it's looking like stuff is starting to pick up. Fantastic. Fan fucking fantastic. Just after getting this tiny little weaver. Don't want to get my hand too close to him. <clears throat> but Jesus, he's absolutely tiny. So it's pretty cool to get. So we'll try and hook him now. Aggressive little guys, don't want to get near as thin. So I'm just going to prop him up. So as I said, I'm not going to get near him. But he was taking on a Maddie on a floating beat. So we'll uh, get him back there now and Hopefully not get any more of them. And next cast, or well, reel in the other rod. I had the exact same thing on the exact same hook at the same distance. At least that guy was a lot easier to get off. So, just gonna try to get him back there now again. But you can see, don't wanna pick him up. But, so weavers are lovely fish like look at the yellow on that you don't get many fish except for wrasse that have that color and they have a lovely shimmer of pink to them it's probably not as easy to come out with the camera but again they're infamous black dorsal it's just here that I'm not going to go near my finger so uh, I'll just get this guy back there now and again hopefully not get any more So I'm just on last cast here now, um, finishing up for the session because nothing else has actually happened. I've had those two weavers at the end which were a bit of a pain but look, species and species was happy enough to get it. Uh, I've had a few flounder with one decent flounder, uh, them small little teabag turbot and the mullet at the start which I was pretty happy with. Um, so as I was saying the tide's starting to go out now. Uh, it gets very shallow as the tide starts to drop off here and it's going to be difficult to get some depth. Uh, I haven't had any bass so I'm kind of not too particular about staying much later. But I suppose that's fishing. Uh, so if you enjoyed the video, please like, please subscribe and uh, thanks for watching.